You know when everybody says, let's meet up at 10 at the location that we're supposed to go to? Can't tell you guys what it is, but it's something that you've been suggesting for a while. I think it's stupid, but we're doing it anyway. It's 9.30 right now, but we agreed to meet at 10 in Glendale. Called Kib about 20 minutes ago. He hadn't even left his house yet. Let's see where James is right now. He should be on another street away, just walking his fucking dog. Okay, so he is on... I'm gonna fucking find you. Okay, I know what you're all thinking. Steve, you're so handsome and funny. You may also be thinking, holy shit, Steve, your phone looks like it was the epicenter of an 8.5 magnitude earthquake. Alyssa smacked it out of my hand when we went to Six Flags. Now, I try not to hold grudges and move on, but one thing I'm not sure I can forgive is James, walking his dumbass dog instead of meeting up for filming. Oh, he's over here somewhere. Piece of shit. Oh, there he is. Hey, man. Idiot. You know what time it is? You're walking your dog, 9.30, you know Glendale's an hour away. How dare you come into my neighborhood and talk to me like that? I'm sorry. Get out of here. I got out of there, per James's request. I could see he gained weight. Fortunately, Kib arrived, and I had someone to express my anger unto, toward. You know, James is still walking his dog. That's stupid. I think you should be the one to confront him because I tried to earlier and he really just it made it really uncomfortable for me and I was He's like, I have a dog. I'm gonna be like, dude, Well, I'm I don't gonna care. get one. I don't, I'm gonna get one. There he is, right there. The dog shit. Oh, I don't even see his dog. What could have happened to Vinny? Did he break free from his leash and run off? Oh, no, I see the I see the leash in James's hand. He's simply uh, behind a bush. Okay, are you gonna confront him or not? Yeah, I'm probably gonna confront him. What should I say, though? I don't know. Should we hide? No, that's not... Yeah, we should hide. We decided to hide. Hopefully James's circus eyes wouldn't be able to see us behind the monolithic tree. The element of surprise would be our greatest weapon, or perhaps our biggest flaw. What's the best point that we'll, uh... How do, how do I get across to him without him freaking out? Do I yell? Surprise him? You should yell. Immediately yell. It's 9.35. You just got here, idiot. You were in yeah, the same place yesterday. Yeah, because I stopped at the fucking place, man. Because you're late. You're going to be yelling at me and shit. And I'm so nice to you about it. Oh, I don't like this. This is annoying. I think you don't know what you're saying. This isn't working at all, dude. It's not getting through. Well, I you just... weren't assertive. You were just mean. You said yell. Well, now he's upset, and this is going to be a weird day. You know what we're doing today, right, though? Don't say it out loud, but you know what we're doing? The chicken boy statue. Oh, fucking come on, man. Today we were finally gonna see the world's famous chicken boy statue. Now, I really don't know why a statue of a chicken boy hybrid would ever be world famous, but since it's my namesake, I thought it'd be a good idea to finally go check it out. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think it's that cool. Do you know who the first person to play a chicken boy was? Uh, uh Alyssa. Sorry. It was a lesson. But it originally really started with Chicken about. Man, and then it went to Chicken Boy. It's because I would give her dog chicken. I later found out that her dog wasn't actually a dog. It was actually a chicken. So I was feeding a chicken other chicken, which led to a whole uh, mad chicken disease, and I was in prison for a short period of time. I broke out and apologized to Alyssa, and we were happier than ever. Not gonna lie, the Chicken Boy statue was a bit overwhelming, but we were in Glendale, so we decided to get some breakfast and hang out. This is really good. There's a bear claw muffin. You want to try some? Bear claw? I love the flavor of bear claw. Almonds. Yeah. I'm allergic. Oh, yeah. James, we need to stop by um, probably a hospital and get a peppy pen. Why, what's that? We're going to need a uh, Kib just had almonds. I'm going to be honest here. I completely knew that Kib was allergic to almonds. But this bear claw was delicious. And I needed him to experience it. I was just hoping that his throat wasn't going to close up. Why'd you eat them? I didn't know that's what bear claw meant. You, you, just eating? you can see the, alm the almonds on there. Is your throat closing up? Ah, just a bit. Uh, no, I think it's fine, but it's, it's itchy for sure. But Itchy's fine. You can deal with itchy. <laughs> Itchy's a comfort thing, not a survival. Right. If I double the dose, it'll counteract the effects? Yeah. Wait, actually, no. Well, let's eat our stuff. See if, uh, see if it gets better with you. Cool. Okay, not trying to be selfish here, but I really didn't want to go to the hospital. I mean, of course, I don't want Kip to die or anything. But if we go to the ER, well, then we probably have to wait for like four Four hours and then that leaves me with little to no time to do uh, really important work and by that I mean play Fortnite. That's young week. I know you gotta let you gotta open your throat, dude. Fight the allergic reaction. Fight the reaction. Open her. Is right here and stopped outside of it. Okay. Children's stuff. Is this an epithelium? Um, what is this? That's oh, a thermometer. These are all thermometers. Should I just, just ask them? You should probably just ask them. Or just ask them about yeah. the epithelium. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Do you have a question or are you picking up? Question. Question? Sure. Um, I'll meet you at the consultation. Give Absolutely. me two minutes. No, if you're having difficulty breathing, swelling, and ER, you have to go to the ER. Do you not have epipens? No, the epipens, you need a prescription, so you have to go to the ER. Prescription? Yeah. The only I thing I have over the counter is going to be Benadryl. You can try. Benadryl will work. You get Benadryl, but you also, if you're having difficulties swallowing, 
any, you know, breeding equipment, you have to go straight to the ER. Ah, not the answer I was looking for. We didn't go to the ER. We pumped Kib full of children's Benadryl and hightailed it back to the office. That way, if he passed out or died, it's a work issue, and we'll all probably get some sort of compensation for trauma. But I didn't expect work to be just as hectic. James Willems decided to microwave a dog's asshole, which stunk up everything. Hey, James. Do you microwave the most disgusting thing in the world out there in the, in the kitchen? Broccoli, sweet potato, and chicken. How often do you uh, do you microwave that broccoli? Once a day. Why is it only today that I noticed it in the kitchen? The smell. Hey, do you have a cold? Have you not been stuffy? No, it's not stuffy. It smells weird. This you want some? Actually, yeah. That's really good, keep doing it. I decided to let it slide. But if any more assholes were microwaved in the office and it wasn't my asshole being heated, I was going to flip my lid. I headed back to the kitchen where I found Bruce. What happened? He had a weird reaction to, to almonds. almonds. To almonds and uh, Did you guys know he was allergic to that? No, didn't know until this morning. So we he brought him back here, tried to, well, we figured we'd ask brought him. You're... Brought him back here, you didn't drive him to the hospital. Emergency room. Does anything ever come normal to you guys with Sugar Pine? Do you guys know what to do in a situation, bad situation? I'm 25. I know you are. That's why I'm confused. Is a hospital, is that, is a hospital the thing yeah, to do? Yeah, typically you go to a hospital when you have an allergic reaction. Yes. How's your breathing? Uh -huh. Dude, does he want stuff? Uh, wow, allergies. Talk about them. That is some serious inflammation. You think it's benign? That's not an allergy. What the fuck is benign? About? That's just a bunch of crushed almonds stuck to well, fully ate, swallowed those almonds. Those, you swallowed. Those aren't crushed. They're solid. Uh, they're ones in between. Oh, that's peanut butter. I swallowed butter. about seven allergies this morning. What's that? How'd you get the? Where was the peanut butter coming from, bud? Well, what makes peanut butter, Steve? Think about that. Peanuts, not almonds. Ever heard about almond butter? Almond butter, sure I have. So that's almond butter. No, it's peanut butter. Okay, so then this doesn't make any sense. Don't pick it up, Bruce. Don't take it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. You can eat it. I've been lodged in my peanut butter for about six hours now. I think there's like bird's nest in between it. Well, bird's nest, you ate a bird's nest. So friggin' what? If you eat allergies, then you have an allergic reaction. All right, so we need to separate the two. Allergies are a very separate thing from peanuts and a physical item. Allergies are something you get from You're eating a peanut or a... that people have allergies to peanuts. I can't today, I can't today, I can't, today. I, can't. I can't. I'm so sorry. James, but... the voice it's of odd. reason. Peanuts, allergies. Bingo, bango, bango. Oh, what are you, what are you doing? What, well, how are you part of that? How did you get that in your throat? You spit on it. No, oh, what, what is that? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get it, get it, get it. Here, Kib, want to eat it again? Make him eat it. Make oh, Stevie eat it. Bruce, Bruce makes Stevie eat it. Everyone makes Stevie eat it. Bruce ate some. Kib ate some. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> oh, no, that's in front of me. I completely forgot I was here and not having a nightmare. Do you know Philip Franco? Well, I mean, like, we've, we've talked. All right, so you don't know Philip Franco. Brady, check the source of that. Brady, check the source of that. Bill, I'm not doing this. Like, you work here. You have the word. I can get you in touch, maybe. I took his phone. 